Hey everyone, I'm going to talk about how the November NFT reward competition went, the second one for the month, and then announce the winner of the giveaway that I started on my last video. This is a recording I took of my milk build just two hours before the competition ended. I ended at rank 44, so definitely secured an ancient NFT this time. This build peaked at 1650 milk per hour, but averaged somewhere around 1600 milk per hour most of the time. This competition experience was great overall. It was an easy build, it was fast, and my game never crashed, which was such a relief. I did have some FPS issues for a few hours, but I ended up getting that result by deleting about a quarter of my entire town and replacing it with meadows, leaving to this build right here. I played in a forest with two river edges, the exact spot I wanted to use, which is great. It took me 30 minutes to craft my first milk barn and one hour to sell my first batch of 25 milk. So I'll explain my rush strategy for this, but beware, I'm going to mention a lot of NFTs that were used. First of all, having all 12 ornaments helped so much. It made everything 75% cheaper to purchase and also made clearing trees 75% cheaper, as well as the other buffs such as 50% reduced wages and a 50% movement speed bonus. I usually start by placing my dragon and express depots, selling all my gas by using both of those NFTs, and that leaves me with 4 gas to use with my express depot. I sell everything I'm not planning on using, that's the trade depot, the farmer house, wheat field, silo, and storehouse. I build several builder houses and lumberjacks to acquire wood quickly and to begin building everything else I need quickly. I set up a place next to a pond where I will place my rare water pump and rare solar panel and build a lumber mill. I also place my legendary lumber storage and immediately start crafting lumber to stockpile on lumber. I also use the new legendary guided blades card I won from the stacked box competition to make lumber even faster. I call this strategy a lumber rush. As for building up the cash I'll need, I decided I was going to settle on a wool rush since it will be really easy to transition from wool to milk. I had plenty of passive water from the rivers and my legendary water towers, so that wasn't a problem. And I had a legendary weed stand, so other than sheep pens, I needed to build feed mills and troughs to feed the sheep, plus a few rancher houses to collect the wool. I used wool storages to store the wool at the start. Uh, eventually, I built more storehouses. I also used feed bots at the start to quickly collect feed. I made sure to place down all four haunted maze zones as this gives an additional 25% movement speed bonus to all sheep and cows, which greatly helped me for this build. My wool rush works great, so that quickly gave me the cash I needed to build a power plant, which I paired with my haunted west wing in order to get passive crude oil to craft energy which I stored in a big warehouse NFT to hold up to 60 energy at a time. If you're wondering how I got the energy to build the power plant, I just used a worker and a wind turbine, you know, the traditional way. So at that point, I had lumber, I had energy, I had a lot of cash from selling wool with my dragon, and of course wood was no issue since a forest came with plenty of trees and I could always buy more trees if necessary. So I had everything I needed to start building milk barns. Once again, this was all within 30 minutes of the competition starting. So from there, I just continued to scale up. Eventually, I finished the build after 8 hours. The design I originally planned had many more ATVs, loggers, and milk barns, but performed poorly due to the major FPS issues. And admittedly, it needed more feed production. So yeah, I deleted about 25% to 30% of my town and replaced it with meadows after hearing some suggestions that it worked out really well. This build featured 50 milk barns, 21 ATVs, 15 loggers, 10 feed bots, 44 feed mills, 
45 meadows, 24 tree farms, and 6 storehouses, just to name some of the stuff it featured. Um, I don't have to explain how to craft milk to you, so there's really not that much more to talk about for this build, so let's move on. Now it's time to select the giveaway winner from my last video. I mentioned that I was going to do another giveaway, this time for an enchanted ornament number 10. This effect card NFT will give a 4% wage reduction, which will reduce the total amount of cash spent on your town over time, which will always be useful. In order to be entered in this giveaway, all you had to do was leave a comment on that video with any cow emoji or the glass of milk emoji. If you made multiple comments, uh, it only counts as one entry. There was 75 eligible people for this giveaway. As before, I will be using commentpickers.com random picker tool to select a winner. This list contains all the eligible people for this giveaway. I will click on pick a random item and it will choose the winner. Uh, some people's channel names seem hard to pronounce, so if I mispronounce your channel name, sorry. Okay, let's see who the winner is this time. Congratulations to Petter St. Petter Street. Petter St. <laughs> you have won an enchanted ornament number 10. I will be pulling up your comments on the screen right now. Please contact me on Discord. My username is currently dubsteprod number 0762. You can also tag me in the Galley Games Discord if you'd like to get a hold of me. I will ask you to reply to your own winning comment so that I can verify that you are indeed the giveaway winner. Afterwards, I will ask you for the wallet address you wish to receive the NFT on. And that's all I will ask of you, so that's the only thing you should expect. Thanks everyone for participating. I didn't expect to basically do two giveaways back to back. But it's all good. <laughs> More to come later. I love all the comments you all put out there. Also saw some clever people use the emojis as part of their comment as well. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this competition. I surely enjoyed it because it was more relaxed it feels like. Let me know if you used the milk build I showcased and how it went for you. I do know some people modified it by removing some milk barns and adding more meadows which boosted the hourly milk rate so that's a great modification. Also shout out to whoever named their town. Thanks Dubstep Rod. <laughs> Don't know who you are but you're welcome. I believe they made it somewhere around the 250s ranks. Uh, might not be close enough to qualify for Ancient but they definitely scored a legendary NFT. Uh, no clue if they copied the build or just thanking me for the advice I shared. Regardless, they did a great job. As for the next meta, I believe it's bicycles. It's going to be a brand new craft and I believe it's going to require blue steel and other new crafts coming along with it. There was actually lots of leaks of uh, new content coming soon, including four new buildings, tons of new Christmas related crafts, and a new proximity effect known as cold, which will be both a positive and a negative effect for buildings. There's probably going to be plenty to talk about regarding all that new stuff, so I'll have to cover that on another video. Well, that's everything I have for this video. I would appreciate it if you could like this video and please leave a comment on how the competition went for you and if my advice helped you or if you decided to use the build I showcased. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. As of recording this video, I see that I am really close to that 1000 subscriber milestone. It's amazing watching this channel grow and I hope I can continue to help you all, not just with Townstar but with all the other Galley Games content as well. I appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching.